Hello YouTube, this is Dark Emissary 617 and today as you noticed I finally got my had some difficulties with my original room and I finally managed to get it ready so this is my new workstation where I'll be doing reviews from now on today I'm going to be doing a little something different today the review I like to call the the review on Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figure, Snakeweed! Snakeweed here is my favorite character from the new Nick cartoon for Ninja Turtles. I love this figure. He's awesome. This is what I totally envisioned about getting for a Snakeweed figure. Here you see he's got the um, his colors, if you can see well. His just your typical green, and he's got the different types of green, the brighter green here, and the dark green all over the body. Um, it looks quite like the cartoon. The only things that are a little off is that his, um, in the show he only has four vine tendril tentacles on his back. On the toy there's six. See? Because, um, I think this is more towards the concept art of what we saw at Toy Fair two ye um, a few years ago for the premiere of the TMNT toy line. And, um, so there's the red on his heart. You can see that there. And he looks amazing. I mean, he's got his two antennas and, um, little backstory. This is some um, snakeweed. He was a... He was a truck driver for the Krang, who used to be called Snake. Apparently, the Krang had him because they needed him for topside missions, like um, for Earth Customs, because um, you know Snake's a human and the Krang don't speak well, uh, properly and all that. So, but okay, putting Snake we decide. Let's actually have a look at the box. The box is typical. You got Snakeweed Mutant Botanical Bruiser. Uh huh. And um, here on the back, here you have your little art of snakeweed. And um, here we go. Here's a little bite read for you. The venomously vine snakeweed was once no more than human low life snake, snitch, and ally to the evil crane. Exposed to mutagen ooze on the turtle's first topside mission, this former thug is now a botanical beast. Lashing out at anything foolish enough to come close in contact, capable of instantly regrowing his leafy limbs, Snakeweed would be unstoppable if not for his vulnerability to fire, weapons multiple venomous vines, and team the crane. Everyone else on the back of who's available. There's also Baxter Stockman and Leatherhead came out. I haven't gotten Baxter Stockman in yet, but I should have him in like next week. I just got Snakeweed first because I really wanted this guy since I first saw the uh, figure. Ever since I first saw him in the Toy Fair image, I knew I was going to like this guy. Also, because of the fact that Snakeweed has a lot of things I like about him. He's a plant. I like plants and he looks like a bug. I like bugs. He's like a praying mantis. I really like that about him. So thing that's really amazing about him is his articulation is amazing for a TMNT figure. Um, articulation, his head can turn left to right, left and right. And it's a really tight joint. So, um, just to let you know, you have to attach these antennas, and you have to attach his legs here. And it's actually a lot more of a pain than I thought it would be, but... I think for what the struggle is worth, you actually do get your money's worth anyways. Because this is one of the best figures that isn't a turtle out there. His antennas can swivel. His arms can go up and down and side to side. His arms are a little awkward the way they're jointed, but not bad, it's still cool. This arm's a little loose, but not too bad. Both wrists can swivel, and the, um, the tentacle vine tongues can actually swivel too if you wanted to, yeah. So those also swivel. He has a waist joint, 
his torso can turn left and right and or left to right and go up and down like an ab crunch and his legs are ball hang um like pin sockets they got the ball hinge joint they can go in and out up and down you could do more but i'm just not showing much because the joints are really tight on this figure and the of course the knee joints now i knew we were going to get knee joints on this character because i could tell from the concept arts and the prototype we saw these were showing like lines here and you can tell that i was able to tell that there was going to be a joint there so he's also got some yellow for the spirally bits on his legs, which I can't, re I don't really know what they are, but they look great on him. He also has some red here, as you noticed, on the side. He's got, um, this is like, um, his venomous blood, I call it. It's like the red stuff. There were like bones and lip for his legs that used to be because they split apart when he was a mutant. But they're not on the tour, I guess, because it was too violent. He has hollowed out feet. I was hoping it was going to be like, like, not like this hollowed out, but it's not a big deal. There's the holes to connect to, ex to play sets and all that. And you could take off the vines like so, but this one's like bent in a position that's like lashing out through that way. While the other one's more straight. I would have preferred it if we had two of these. The straight ones. Or even had more vines to use for different posable reasons. And other options. But that's okay. This line is usually notoriously known for having poor scaling of figures. But here it's not too bad. Here I have my favorite turtle Donatello here. Put him next to him. Snakeweed's quite taller than him he's very tall and that's very nice he's not actually short like dog pound for instance dog pounds like a mess I'll, I'll get to that one a little later maybe but as you see here snakeweed is much taller than donatello so the scaling is not too bad not as accurate as it is in the cartoon because he's like 12 feet tall apparently so he's like the second tallest character he used to be but then general track from tcri came and yeah, so, but he's still very tall. Here he is next to Leonardo. You can see he just really is just, he's really tall. I like that. Now, on the prototype, he had like red paint here and um, had some red paint on the vines here. But it's not too bad. Like, he has missing paint, but his missing paint is not that noticeable. If you had seen toys like Metalhead, Fish face and dog pound, the missing pain is very distracting. Here, it doesn't really hurt Snakeweed too much. And this is coming from a new character that came out in the new latest wave. It came out with Metalhead and Baxter Stockman. So, two iconic characters just lost to this new guy? I'm really amazed that a new character actually was better, and not just that, the best figure of the wave. When he was like basically like competing with two other really iconic characters, their ki figures are okay, but you'll see if you know there's a lot of problems. Like I'll just say a heads up that Leatherhead is too short. He's shorter than Dog Pound, possibly shorter than Metalhead, so that's bad. And Baxter Stockman is okay, but he's just not that great a figure, cause you know. But this guy has a lot of articulation. If you count up his joints, he has he should have like 19 joints because um. He's got a lot of swivelings and the ball hinges. So he has like 90 points of articulation. The same amount of articulation a turtle figure has. The actual turtles. So, yeah. And um, I really recommend getting this guy. You see him in stores, you should definitely buy him. He's one of the best figures in the line, hands down. Like, this guy is amazing. First evil mutant that the turtles fought in the show he is appearing the first the second part of you see snake more and he actually mutates there due to an accident with the truck heat and he's really powerful he gets he keeps getting blown to pieces and frozen smashed to pieces but with his heart still intact he still survives and he can regenerate because of that so Give this figure, um, 
I'll give it a 9 out of 10, because the struggling parts are a little annoying, and I don't like how they are a little hard to put on, and I really, I would have preferred having a little more of the red paint, but it doesn't bother me too much. I still love this figure. Definitely my favorite in the line. So, this was the review for Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figure Snakeweed. This is Dark Emissary 617, signing out.